hate this fucking program. <laughs> hey, believe me, so do I. Hey, folks, it's Rob Alicastor and Brewer. Are you watching Spike Wagon? Oh, it's Spike Wagon. Dot nuts. Dot nuts! Thank bitches. He's got water. 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 Uh, we have a uh, friend of ours in the studio this evening. You might have heard his voice before, actually. Uh, he's our voiceover guy. Uh, go ahead and flip, flip cameras. Introduce him first. Well, it's Steve-O. Hi, everybody. Yeah, his voice is a little deeper this week because he's been... Yeah, I had strap. It sucked. Ass. Lots of ass. That's kind of hurt. Like, who does like strap? I mean, that's, uh... I... Uh, doctors, they make lots of money when I go to the doctors. That's very true. Because I get it all like, the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're smoking, too. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, and of course, behind the producer desk is a mattress. Me. Hopefully he doesn't fart on air this time. So. Like last week, that or was two weeks ago. Was it two weeks or three weeks ago? <laughs> two weeks. Ago. <laughs> um, yeah, two weeks ago. Sorry. It's, yeah, it's the way things roll here. You know, it's also better than a uh, shrub throat. What? Stat. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Our friend Nick. You remember Nick, right? Yeah. He gets stabbed like all the fucking time. That's disgusting. Yeah. How I don't know, but well, isn't it like once you have it, like you're more no, that, prone to get it or some shit? No, that's strap. That's strap. Staff. Staff is normally once you get it, you don't normally get it again. No. Oh. So if I cut strip off of you, I might get it for the rest of my life. Probably. All right. That's good. So you want to share gum or something like that? <laughs> want to drink out of my water cup? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Can I use your beer? Uh, something like that. So, uh, actually, some things have been going on in Spank Wagon Land. Yes. Uh, one trencher quit his job. That means we're gonna have more trench for them. Yeah. Uh, he told Cox to suck his. Um, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So he's actually going to concentrate on school. Like Cox, the cable company? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. He used to do uh, tech support for them. So. Oh, sorry. I didn't yeah. So now he's free. Yes. Except uh, he's going to be crushed with the burden of loans. So that's yeah something else to free himself from. Yeah. So uh, as for us here in the Austin area, man, we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, Especially next week. Yeah. And actually, well, next week, okay, so we haven't talked about this on the show just yet because we were trying to finalize details. Hmm. Uh, a friend of ours, um, John, goes uh, by Jay the Yellow, who's a friend of Descendants of Erdrick. Uh He liked the stuff we were doing at Game Over and the Video Games Rock Show, all the filming and stuff. And we put a lot of work into it. Yeah. So. so he actually asked if we'd come cover the International Game Developers Association picnic here in town. Here's the thing. The place where it's held at is at Richard Garriott's place. Richard fucking Garriott. Lord British. That's right. It's on his oh. Oh, on his yeah, property. Now, 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 now I'm like, oh, I got it. Oh yeah. My God. Yes. So I was uh, like, who? <laughs> so we're pretty stoked about that. DOE's playing, of course, and a couple other bands that are playing. Uh, <coughs> I'm actually looking forward to. Um, it's called the Love Vandals. They do kind of like a cross between like R and B and surf and. I've and heard blues. That before. Have you? Yes. Wow. Yes, what do you think? Sounds awesome. Uh, I thought it was good. Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly my kind of music, but hey, if you're into that, it's good stuff. I never yeah. heard of them before. Huh? They've been heard of them. Yeah. Before. Well, you will next week. So. Yeah. Uh, also, more news for us, and I haven't even told you this yet. I'm in the dark. Okay. So, in an effort to make Spankwagon more legitimate, which is probably not that far of a step. Might might not actually be. Uh, Good for us. I, I think we kind of breed on illegitimacy. Right. Just being like Just gorilla. like gorilla show yeah. on the floor and never having it because connection drops all the time. Uh, Maybe we could go for some legitimacy. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Uh, a while back, I had actually put in for press passes to cover Evo. Oh, really? And we got it. Fucking A. So, yes, Spank Wagon will be covering Evolution 2011 at the Rio. We we're going there anyway, but... Now it's official. Yeah. That's we have a purpose. That's exciting. Other than yeah. hanging out with the Las Vegas crew. Yeah, it, if you've never been to Evo, it's really a lot of fun. I've never right? been. It's heavily exciting. Yeah, it's... The only trouble is like getting there, but, you know, it's, uh, yeah. it's not that fun. It's whatever. Yeah. Going to Pennsylvania in like, a week and a half, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not as bad for the people that are actually participating, because not only do they have to get there, they have to pay like a couple hundred dollars for entry, so... No, uh, it was... It depends on how many games you play. It was... <coughs> The venue fee is seventy, but it's like ten bucks per game after that. Uh, but you don't have to pay the you know you typically don't have to pay the venue fee again and again and again. So right. and Air Mattress decided he's not going to play Mortal Kombat, so save yourself seventy bucks. Yeah. 
And I have been practicing because I got better shit to do. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm not playing because I haven't played shit lately. No, no, they're fine. Except for Galaga Allegiance DX, I did pick that up because I came out this week. Awesome. Was it good? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I haven't got a chance to play it. You, you should prove, um, you know how they added the bullet time yeah. from Pac-Man DX? Right. It's in there. You have far better control over your satellites and it's it's worth 10 bucks. Seriously, folks. Right. Xbox Live. That is exciting. Yes. Yeah, I remember playing Galaga when I was a kid and pulled the shit out of it. Yeah. Uh, it, might, it might be kind of bad going back to the game, though, just because it might ruin the nostalgia. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say so, because the the gameplay is definitely different. So it's but, just kind of Galaga at its like, very basic core. Okay. Kind of like, you, like a Pac-Man, really. So, Well, I did like the new Pac-Man that they had at the arcades. So yeah. I don't know, Battle Royale. Oh, God. It's a lot of fun. Fuck yeah. Have you tried it yet? Oh shit! You should go to the arcade and try this. I should do that. Yes. It wasn't so far. Yeah, that's funny. You know, I found out Lobos never has never been a UFO. Oh, Lobos hasn't. No. Huh. It's like, <coughs> it. You have to fix that. Yeah. I guess he finally went to pinballs tonight, so. The chair is expensive as hell. <laughs> and maybe there's broken machines. I don't know. Well, every time I go to UFO, I do the same thing every freaking time. What's that? Hang uh, what? Outside. Yeah, I hang out outside. <laughs> Smoke and play Arcana, because that's what I do. Well, they don't have Arcana at the moment. Uh, they, since it came out on PS3 and whatnot, they uh, brought back Demon Bride. They, they had it like three weeks ago. Yeah, they just, it was like last week they just brought Demon oh, Bride back. Oh, I'm so pissed. I'm I, so, I'm sure so I just pissed. play like three games, here's my problem, I play like three games there anymore. Yeah. Uh, Daifu Gots, Poppin, and Tactica. I don't play fucking any fighting games anymore. And last time I went there, both Pop and Nantec were broken. Yeah! Yeah, but that was temporary. By the time I have left and like, haven't gone back in like a couple weeks, which is another story, but yeah, um, they probably fixed it by then. I hope so. Well, I know what Papa was broken. It was a bad one of the yellow buttons. But. That's right. Which which is like, you know, like an hour main. So. Yeah, it's just I think Ryan had to order the buttons, so. I'm wow. tired of getting crushed at Street Fighter. That's why I don't play this shit anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't play it either. I'm just not good. Well, I don't know. It's just I don't have the time to invest to be like even moderately decent anymore, yeah, exactly. you know? It's like I'd rather do shit like this and go film awesome people <coughs> and do that because I can't get my ass kicked at video editing, you know? Well, I just play computer games now, so who cares? Yeah, I actually I've been playing a lot of WoW, so. Oh, oh yeah. God. What, uh, what happened to Minecraft? Oh, uh, uh, hey. <laughs> uh, hey. Calm down there. Uh, Aneurysm thinking about it. Oh, you did see that video I posted, right? Oh, yeah, the uh, Katamari yeah. mod for Minecraft. It was actually kind of cool. <laughs> I, lo I, I was like, that almost makes me want to play. Almost. Yeah. I'd rather just go buy Katamari Damacy for you know, the PS2. And you know, I would, I would totally do that, except, you know, I have better things to do, like stick my dick in a meat grinder. <laughs> wow, you really don't like that game. I, re I really Minecraft is not my thing. I oh no, like you know I go on YouTube and I watch you know random crap mm -hmm. and I see like oh this is my bunny breeding video. Kill me now, <laughs> just kill me. We have to admit that there are some good videos though. People do some amazing shit. Oh um, yeah, I'm glad that they can take the time to build it because I don't have the patience for that. <sighs> like building a like I played for like 15 minutes and I started to like build like a, a hut. Like I pissed off. <laughs> it was like, I'm turning this shit off right now. I'm going to play a real game where I kill other people. I'd rather spend 40 bucks on Legos and build shit with that. Uh, well, no, actually, not quite. Yeah. Legos are kind of expensive. I'd rather go yeah. play an FPS or something of that nature so I can crush people. You know, there's actually a Lego uh, convention here in town this weekend. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called Brick awesome. Fiesta. It's actually kind of awesome. Is it? Yeah. No, I was I, considering going, but... I, there, was one, uh, there was one in Houston, I'd say, like, five years back, right. and they had the entire front of the convention center all like decked out in Lego creations. There was like a, what would have been probably an actual scale model of a T-Rex. Wow. Stood it like. By the way, Murphy's on here. Like, Yay, it, Murphy! Hello, Murphy. Hi. It was like, yeah, it was just really tall and really, really intricate. So it had little really short, bulky. stubby, silly arms. Yeah. yeah. I cannot reach, reach trees, so I will eat other animals. <laughs> Apparently they only eat dead animals. They're like vultures. Are they? Yeah. Hmm. 
Didn't know that. Oh, that was, that was a couple of years ago that I heard that, so. Oh, okay. That's cool. But speaking of Minecraft, uh, apparently there's uh, updates. I th think it was like this week or last week, but they actually finally added pistons, which was. Yeah, itself. I saw something about that. <coughs> and I'm like, you know, this just means what? <laughs> yeah. But no, it, it was a mod that somebody made and everybody loved it, so they were just like, okay, we'll put it in the game two months later. <laughs> That's cool. Just, and I'm watching Air Mattress over here and he's like, I'm struggling with this goddamn machine. Why? I don't know, it's just me, I guess. It might be the machine. It probably is the machine, all the luck we've had with the <laughs> God Dirt damn. mode activate. <laughs> well, I think it's more that fucking yeah. program. Yeah. yeah. Wow. The computer's fine. We built it ourselves. I'm not blaming that here. So you can blame me too. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so, yeah. We blame him from every for everything from the Republican Party to Crystal Pepsi. So. Uh, Crystal. You're Pepsi. responsible for Crystal Pepsi. Yes. Yeah. What is wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I hey, at least good. I don't. I thought it tasted it. good. Oh god. Hey, at least I don't blame you for Pepsi Blue because it did. Yeah. So. All right. Pepsi One. What's that? Gross to you. Then Pepsi One or whatever. The well, one calorie, one gram of sugar, blah blah. Oh, blah, I don't blah, blah. remember that. It also tastes like uh, salt. Oh so. uh, well, yeah, it tastes like salt well, did you see beer this? urine. Yeah. I, I could have poured it all over myself and gone hunting and would have made many, many a dollar <laughs> in venison meat. In venison meat. <laughs> so it comes so close. Wow. I killed them with my bare hands. Yeah, that's how they should have marketed it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> why have dough juice? Just use Pepsi One. <laughs> Pepsi One not only quenches your thirst. But summons deer to your every command. <laughs> actually, did you guys see that that next one they're coming out with? It's actually called Pepsi Next. It's oh, supposed yeah. to be like, remember Diet Coke with Lemon or whatever the fuck it was? <coughs> uh, yeah. Oh, the Diet Coke with Lemon. They're not fucking yeah. up. What? It froze. What? Are you goddamn fucking... Oh, okay, try it, yeah. Ankle grab brothel and casino. Get fucked. And then get fucked. Get fucked. Yeah. And we got fucked here, folks. Sorry. Yes, yeah, a very <coughs> true stink wagon moment. God damn it. Derp. <laughs> Herp. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I think there will be drinking. I think there's already think? drinking. Well, I mean. Right. Amped up. Uh, sorry, folks. Uh, Vid Blast. Vid Blaster took a shit! On yes, I'm going to start calling that program course. out. It's like, it's pissing me off so bad. Yes, as much as we give endorsements for Shiner Beer, Epoison, and American Spirit Menthol, not Menthol, <laughs> uh, we give our denouncements of the Vid Blaster, yeah. Vid Blaster can eat a fucking dick, as far as I'm concerned at this point. His dick. Yeah. Sebo's dick. Yeah. Sebo's volunteer. Yes. These nuts. <laughs> Those <laughs> delish. <laughs> Balls deep! Sorry, moment from last night's show. Oh, that was silly. Delish. <laughs> My balls. Delish. It's like, what? And, he, and here, because it's not so hot, it's not, you're not serving up ball soup. So. Oh, God. Oh, there <laughs> are no guarantees about all that. <laughs> I'm just sorry about ball soup. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Do I want to know? No, it's not. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. Though. Is it swamp ass yeah. related? No, it's, it's not swamp ass. It's not ball soup. But as a god, <coughs> this guy smelled worse. Ooh. Whoa! Wow! Yeah! Wow! The what? Uh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Um, basically, one of the guys that I was helping, uh, that you know, he had an order. He was like a truck driver for my parents' company. But I've been helping out for like, the last two weeks, and I drive like five and a half hours to the one. Did he have front butt? Did he have front butt? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's, this one. <laughs> How's it go against you? Oh, a lot of kids. It's like the, the stomach curls up right here. Oh, it's hanging down to your ball sack. But it like curls in so it looks like a butthole. Like you can legitimately fuck it if you wanted to. I, I didn't look. This guy probably had it though. He was, uh, he was just like the muffin top females. Just gross. <laughs> or bat titties. Have you ever seen bat titties? Like I don't know, like when your shoulder blade, skin, balls, and you could like legitimately like tie a bra on both sides <laughs> to support. Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue. It needs to be looked at. You need to go to the gym. Or... And, and I guarantee you this, due to the number of pictures I've seen at peopleofwalmart.com, <laughs> you want to see one, you haven't seen it before, that's where you go. No, and this is and this is, this is is coming from a guy who worked three years at a goddamn Walmart, 
Everything you see on that fucking website is true. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that especially no if you worked joke. overnight. If you've ever worked overnight, <coughs> holy goddamn fuck. That is when all the fucking weirdos come out. Like I know, oh. I shop at night because they, they they're too self conscious because they realize how fuck they are. It's actually no, but it takes sunlight. No, no, it's, 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 it's like a lot like that. But you know, like it's, it's not it's not just a self conscious. You like seriously hit the gym, just personal like, trainer, lose the back titty. And I swear, walk. We like to be walk. Yeah, walk to the fucking Walmart. But that's thirteen miles. Yo, fat ass could use it. That's for damn sure. Yeah, put down the floor, pick up salad. Right. So yeah. what are you talking about? Fuck. How about you just go to not eat? <laughs> yeah. For those people though, they should market double bras. You know, be in the front, see in the back. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah when your titties is bigger on your back than your and like and then your chest. You're not cool. Like dude. when your boyfriend asks you to, like he says he wants a titty fuck and then he hops behind you. <laughs> issues. <laughs> Saying. I don't think you can call that Pfizer at that point. There's got to be another term. Oh, wow. Well, I don't even know. I'm not even going to get into this. So Anyways, well, moving on. Yeah, what was your, what were we going on now? Yeah, what were we, we going <laughs> on? I don't this, know. This I stinky think, fucking dude. Oh, yeah, my, my, my stinky asshole story. Uh, basically, he's just this, <coughs> like, basically, he was at the other warehouse because, like, uh, anyways, they sent him over to our warehouse because my aunt and uncle were just tired of this guy. He was, he was a fucking obstinate asshole. Right. And anyways, they sent him over to... You, you, you can't understand. Just basically, he, they sent him over to our warehouse, and this obstinate, fat, fucking Russian guy. And, oh my god, it was it's like 100 degrees plus in mid -blend. Right. And this guy must have been like 300 pounds, had fucking two layers of fat on him, and he was sweating through both layers. And he smelled like my ball sack on the hottest day of July. It wow. was terrible. If he was wearing shorts, jeans, and sweatpants. He was wearing these fucking sport shorts and... Oh, I was talking about you. No, no, no. <laughs> like, just to add to the ball sack no, sweat. No, 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 that's really? the thing, like, this guy was wearing fucking shorts and a t-shirt. It was like there's nothing in between the stink of his ball sack and, and the rest of the fucking atmosphere. And he sunk up our fucking office, and... Like, oh my god, I feel sorry It's like people at the arcade What's just gotta run around with a can of Febreze yeah. and hope to god it works. But it was, it was so strong, so putrid. Like, I swear to god, it was, <coughs> uh, it was like worse than anything. You know, and the funny thing is, because I've run into people like that in the past, how do you not know you fucking reek? Well, that's the other thing, man. Like, with Unless he smokes, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, well, it, it, even well, then, I know when I fucking stink. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I don't shower for a couple of hours, yeah. and I feel disgusting, and I'm like, no, like, I gotta shower again. And it's like about three shower days on, <laughs> like, 100 degree heat. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I don't care, because yeah. I am not gonna go in a public smell of, like, fucking rancid ball sack. Yeah, but no, no. no. That's a band name if I ever heard one. Rancid ball sack? Yeah. Oh. Rancid ball sack, that, that works. What, uh, what was the name we were gonna name our band? Because we were talking about it. It was something oh, really I don't, I don't know yet. I gotta run. Uh, that's an idea I gotta run by the guys from DOE. We, uh, so the other bands that were there that night, there was two, and I really don't like giving them shit because they had, they honestly <coughs> have a lot of heart behind what they do. It's just honestly not the kind of music we listen to. Right. You know the Ooh, that shit, right? Oh, you were talking about that one show of the. Uh, well, the really annoying one repeated. Well, they did yeah. last night's show. They were the last ones. Thank yeah. Fucking God. Yeah, we left after for the most part. Yeah. Um, it started here like, no, I'm done. Even though the, the guys in the band are actually kind of cool, but, yeah, not our music. No, no so, uh, Lobo, <coughs> the guitarist, and uh, John the drummer, we, we were joking about doing comedy songs in that style. About just the random dumbest shit ever. I'm out of tokens! <laughs> oh my God! I can't continue! <laughs> of course, Rob's not singing. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll produce. Yeah. And do the videos. He's not singing. Yeah. That's probably my job. Yeah, most yeah. likely. So, yeah, I can't do the voice either, so... Well, you know, and... He can do it. I can't. I can't do it. It's a lie. Well, he, he can do it now because he has struck. You know? No, no, I can do it all the time I was joking. Well, so, it, well John yeah, brought up a good point, though. You gotta do it, too. So huh. you, you got a deep enough voice, oh, you can yeah. do it easy. Not even just because of strap. Like, my voice is normally pretty deep already, but, yeah. With strap, it's like... You know, I, I, I sound like that one movie guy, you know, the guy that talks about the movies. Oh, yeah. He's like, in a world <laughs> where I've run out of tokens and I can't play the game. It's a lot like that, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's pretty good. I thought, yeah. I thought it was, that, that in my head, that sounds pretty close. Yeah. No, 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 it was, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, man. What was that? You were saying you could be Duke Nukem earlier? Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my Duke Nukem impressions? Yeah. Like, I made up my own taglines because I don't think that they're vulgar enough. <laughs> it's like, what? You know, you see that one guy, you know, like, like you know, back titty guy. Right. And you're like, you're an inspiration for birth control. 
Like that's that's a good one. I, I'm pretty excited about. It. It's like, damn, you're ugly. I, you know, like things like that. You know, we're just trying to just throw that out there. Why would you stand on a dress? <laughs> oh, ropes. <laughs> oh, what about freaking fat, nasty people? Um, yes, let's talk about those. Yeah, yeah, like because oh, well, it's easy to well, well, because like I got a really good story. Um, uh, I, I actually uh, I play a really a, a children's card game. Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm pretty sure I've told you all this before. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. yeah. I'm also a judge for the game. So uh, one time we were judging uh, a big competition that's called the YCS, it's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series. Right, yeah. You know, it was actually the biggest one in Texas, uh, or actually the biggest event ever held card game-wise. No we shit. Had, we had uh, 1,977 players. Damn! It's a lot of fucking people, and it's just like it's just a qualifier. And you're the only one being the judge, or was it? All no, 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 no. There's, yeah, no there's, shit. there's a judge. There's a judge staff of 22 people. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> you know, because we got a bunch of different areas we got to take care of and things like that. Right. So I'm working with this guy. I, I think his name was like, uh, oh fuck, I don't remember. Stinky. Well, yeah, might as well. Um, well, if you can imagine this dude, he's like six foot seven, tall as fuck, probably weighs 400 plus pounds. Jesus. And it's not well distributed. Like, he's got, like, skinny arms, really fucking fat chest, stomach, back, titty region. His legs are fucking look like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man uh, ate 50,000 double cheeseburgers and tried to walk it off. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, so I have the unfortunate, you know, coincidence that I have to room with this guy. Ooh. Uh, Night we get there, he already smells pretty bad. Yeah. I'm like, well, you know, probably sweat. He'll take a shower. We get there, we go play cards for a little while, he comes up and just goes to bed. I'm like, that's really gross. You smell like ass. Okay, well, I'm going to Febreze my bed and then sleep on it and spray <laughs> oh, and sniff the raspberry. Just have this little cloud of... Yeah, like, pray it. that I can... You stick a stick him under the pillow cover. So, so I take a shower that night. I wake up, and I feel disgusting waking up because I've been in the same room with this dude. So I take another shower. And I'm expecting old fatty McFat Pants to go <laughs> hop in the shower after me. He just goes down stairs to the event and uh, judges all day. Um, oh, you're talking, God. this is 13 hours of on your feet, constant movement. Yeah. No matter how air conditioned your building is, it's still going to be gross because you're fucking moving. You got, and you got all, that, all those people there. Yeah, you got like 15,000 trillion Yu Gi Oh! stinky ass kids, too. Yeah. yeah. So, so we, get done, we get done with day one. He goes upstairs. We both go upstairs. I hop in the shower again. I was like, hey, bro, the shower's open whenever you want to hop in. <laughs> try, to, try, to, try, to, yeah, try, try to plant the seed, you know, like, <laughs> like oh, back, hey, by the way, your fat, brought you smelly food, ass so. in the motherfucking shower. So, right you now. know what you should have done is some inception on him, you know? Just go into his dreams and plant the idea of shower. Yeah, I, shower, you stinky fuck. No. So he's like, no, bro, I'm good. I'm just going to towel down. Goes in the bathroom, <laughs> gone for two minutes. Just wipes the sweat off with a towel. Puts, oh, puts, puts the same and fucking, ruins the fucking towel. Puts the same fucking clothes back on and then goes downstairs to play again. I'm like, dude, you're making me fucking sick. Yeah. Like, going to day two, I shower again that morning. Still hasn't showered. Let's put it this way. He didn't shower the whole fucking weekend. The whole weekend we were there. We got there Friday, stayed Friday night, Saturday night. He didn't shower the whole time we were rooming together. I almost vomited <laughs> in my sleep. Wow. For that. Unsurprisingly, there are probably a lot of stories like that at Acom. So, I well, you know, I didn't really run into. It. I was actually kind of surprised we didn't run into a nerd funk today. <coughs> yeah, I guess lucky you. Maybe yeah, since okay. there are so many people, people you get conscious enough, they're just like, I, <coughs> I fucking smell. I'm gonna take a shower. Well, that was like another thing. I didn't get that at all at Evo. Yeah. So I was like, sweet, a nerd. I got it at Nikki Con. It was fucking disgusting. <laughs> Like, just because you're playing, like, you're, you're dressed up as a decrepit zombie from Resident Evil does not mean you gotta smell like fun. Yeah. I don't know, Just man. throwing that out there. You can, you can smell, smell, you can smell like rope. You can smell like you can, you can, Well, you can take a shower and then spray something stinky on you to make you smell like dead. Like, I don't care. I'll do that. I'm not gonna fucking just not shower for two months so that I can smell like a fucking decrepit zombie. That's gross. I'm not preparing for fucking cosplay How like can that. you, like... I'm sorry, but like the whole idea of like your ball sticking to your leg, that's the one that makes me shower. Well, know? I already have that problem anyways. Why, yeah. Have you, I mean, well, you ain't never seen my balls, but. And I hope you never do so. <laughs> I don't know. Well. Uh, the world wants to come. I will not do that to y'all. I swear. Well, you know, we're on the internet, so you Yeah, can show like, the world here we go. Well, Murphy showed, showed his ass, then. Uh, <coughs> yeah, then I went like this. Yeah, just. Yeah, the, the color, color bars, bars the, little, the little cricket 
chirping yeah. in the background yeah. like, really? Was that was that necessary? <laughs> yeah, I still need to po actually post that anything from hockey. So, oh god, where to start? I actually had like a ton of news. What time is it? Oh, uh, it's like nine forty-five. Oh wow. But we started late. We got fucked. But um, we'll just go over it later. Yeah, yeah. So, oh crap, where do it's I? It's not like we have time limits. We have plenty of time to drink and be stupid. That's what the show is. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Do we want to start with tech, gaming, or entertainment? Uh, let's go with gaming. Yeah. All right. I can chime in because the other two, I'm pretty sure I'm just doing. Same thing. Same thing. All right. Tell me a little on second. Well, actually, one of us wants to talk about here because uh, this was pretty big piece of news. Uh, you guys heard about the uh, law in California that banned the sale of violent video games to minors? Yes. Supreme Court said. <coughs> really? Yeah, they struck it down. Was it like a freedom of speech thing? Or? Yeah. Alright. That makes sense. Uh, but they... I, I was reading some commentary about it in... And this is something I've kind of had a commentary on, on the media as a whole for a while. Um, why or why is it that we're so like oh you can't show titties on TV and whatnot, but yeah we can show people getting blown the fuck up I don't know. and everything well, else. Well, Let's see, can you make a free speech argument about uh, nudity? I mean, there, there is always like kind of the art clause where you can just say like this isn't pornography, this is art. Right. Well, the, if I remember correctly, their definition of pornography is. Uh, you know, something that has no artistic merit and causes sexual thought, which is that they do watch TV. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Like that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I, I fucking walk down the street sometimes and just see a hot girl and I have sexual thoughts. Like, yes. what? Uh, you're a guy. Like, I'm a guy. Welcome to my world. Well, yeah, um, it's just kind of like the like, oh, that bitch is hot. I'm gonna go home and beat. Like, yeah, it's just right now. It's a big thing. thing. Yeah, Spank like, yes. put that away for later. <laughs> yeah, so and that's something I've always wondered about. It's just like why, why the, why the fuck are they trying to ban violence in video games when you don't even ban it anywhere else? Right. It's yeah. Stupid. I mean, and then on top of that, why is it the government's job to do that? I mean, look it's at the parents' job. Well, yeah. not only that, look at the movie industry. They self-regulated. The gaming industry has done that with their ratings board, the exactly. ESRB. Right. right. So. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, yeah. And you know, if anything, it's an advisor thing. Like, if you don't want your kids to see this, then don't. Then like don't buy the goddamn game. Yeah, yeah, like that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, if if you got such a problem with it, if you're not gonna go with your kid shopping, they're gonna go in and buy whatever they want. How do they get the money? Like, that's what I'm wondering. Like these nine, ten year old kids. Like, how do they mystically come upon eighty dollars to go buy a brand new game? You know, so how the hell mommy you get, you gave it to them. Then how, yeah. how the hell they're buying it, though? You can't, you have to be, you know, 17 to buy those. Well, that, that depends that, on the store, though. That depends on the store and the state. Because yeah. here in Texas, that's the case, but in other, other states, that's not the case. Right. It was like that in Iowa, too. Well, yeah. see, like Walmart, uh, oddly enough, is actually pretty big about not, you know, they themselves don't sell. Right. They won't uh, even Toys R Us does it, too. Yeah, so. they won't even Walmart. sell explicit CDs yeah. to people under, you know, like 16. Well, Walmart doesn't even sell explicit CDs anyway, so. Yeah. Right. Target does, though. Do they? Walmart does. What, when, when the hell did that happen? It used to be for, like, the longest time they refused to. The longest time had been. Uh, not like ever buy CDs. I bought my explicit time. little Wang discs at the Wally Mart. <laughs> uh, one thing I, I really can't put my thumb on, um... If it's if the movie is R rated, you know, no, nobody under seventeen or yeah, nobody under seventeen can watch it. But they still do the pornography thing on it. <coughs> it's, an R it still can't be for more than a certain time or it, it, it can't be pornographic. Otherwise they give it like an X rating and it's still seventeen plus. Yeah. So well N C seventeen is the yeah. Yeah, N C seventeen. So I mean what what would be the fucking difference between N C seventeen and R? I well, you know, well, like a great, well, like a great example, uh, Watchmen. Yeah. Uh, the scene between Night Owl and fucking hot check, I can't remember her name. Um, you know the. There's only some points on that. Yeah, the scene in the ship. I mean, God damn it, I, you didn't see insertion, but damn it, you know that's fucking porn right there. I mean, I've never, that's I've never read. Don't read the book. That. Seriously, read, read the book. Read the graphic read. novel before you see the movie. Yeah. You won't be disappointed. They, they were both the, the graphic novels. God phenomenal. damn it. No cell phones allowed. Sorry. Hey, mine's cut off. You don't have to worry about it doing anything. Mine's on silent, so... Mine just doesn't work. <laughs> but no, that, um... You know, you see a scene like that, it's like, how the fuck is that not for? Yeah. 
I mean, you're not, you know, you're not seeing any. Because you're not showing like the P and the B. Yeah, I guess so. I can't do a hand. But at, at the same, at the, the same docking, time, like, the, the docking maneuvers. The docking maneuvers, yes. <laughs> uh, at the same time, like if you, if you can get into <laughs> that movie, I mean, <laughs> he's like, what the hell? You just say that? Like, if, yes, that's him. If yeah. you're old enough to see it either, either way, then I mean, why draw the distinction? I, I yeah. Well, I actually saw a great line, uh, oddly enough, <coughs> in Flash Die, um, where somebody said, To bear a woman's breast, it's rated R, but to cut it off, it's PG. How fucked up is yeah, that? Yeah, no. Know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's so depressing, you know. It's like you watch, uh, you watch TV, and you watch some of these shows on HBO or, or Cinemax. Right. Not right. Skinemax. Cinemax. Cinemax, yeah. And, the, and then their defense is, we can show this kind of thing because you have to pay for it. I was like, do you think the kids are the ones paying for it? The parents are paying for it, yeah. and the kids are just watching it. But what are you talking about? I got my, my shit for free like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like... Yeah, because you don't pay for the cable bill. Um, oh, we were it just hacked. Anyways. But I'm like, you know, just because... I mean, you're, you're basically saying one, one group can't do something while the other group does exactly what you said they can't do. Yeah. You know, video games can't have this stuff. But, oh, because you have to pay for cable, you know, I can show this thing. Well, I paid for the video game. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't understand. It's like either, you know, much like other things, you know, either do it all the way or don't do it at all. Right. right. You know, it's fucking stupid. I mean, and honestly, to me, you know, this should be a decision on the parents, you know. It's yeah. just, that's all there is to it. But another thing about, uh, so, you know, sexuality being everywhere on TV and being really prevalent and being very showy while still at the same time being this kind of, you know, like, uh, Puritan society where we can't, you know, past a certain point, be showing sex. Yeah. Uh, that has made, like, uh, kind of an interesting thing in the American psyche to where we've become, like, obsessed with tits, you know, like, that's something... Oh, I know I am. Yeah, no, no, exactly. Like, that's something that can be shown on TV, you know, to the masses, just like a girl cleavage <coughs> next to a phone that you want to buy, you know, so yeah. people will buy the phone just because they see tits and it reminds them of sex. That's why, like, there's been this sort of you know, the, the the just the idea of tits have been, you know, instilled with the sexuality that wasn't probably there before. Mm -hmm. Just because, like, that's something that kind of reminds you of, you know, a girl being naked. Tits. Yeah. Well, it's kind of uh, like just kind of an extension of that because I was watching something uh, video on. Uh, things oh, on. By the way, the yeah. point of that was that tits serve no sexual function except for you know, like, I guess breastfeeding. But that's yeah. That's a little a little later on. Yeah. Um, well, Nine months later, on, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Unless you just go. Uh, anyway, which can be well, fun. Yeah. Well, of course it's fun, but I can do that with clothes on. I mean, like, yeah. It, yeah. Like I don't even have to. Sh you don't have to show me the titties for me to be able to motorboat the bitch. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that depresses me so much is you know if you look at if you look at the difference between American media and European media. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. Look, you go to Europe. You know, it's like I took a trip to, uh, trip to Am Amsterdam. Yeah. You know, and you see billboards with naked women. Yeah, you know, and you don't see them running around like a bunch of sexual deviants. It's because of the, you know, it's it's parenting. Yeah, you know, and just a social social way. If we, as a social media, stop, you know, making all this stuff censored, it wouldn't be such a problem. You know, I have the same argument with marijuana, drinking, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. If you don't make it such a taboo to do it, mm -hmm. the it drive to do yeah. it is not that well, big. And, and by extension of that, we're still in this whole thing of, sex is bad! Yeah. No, no, if I may take, if, uh, if I may ask a question of the group here. Mm. Who here likes fucking? Well, I, yeah. no. um, I'm not going to say that I don't like it. I guess you have to do it one time before you say that you like it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm waiting till marriage. For me. Fair enough. He's a, he's a good boy. He's a boy scout. So. Not even close. <laughs> no. So, but no, I think, that, you know, if we would calm down on that, then maybe... Right. By but extension, quit making it look so bad. Yeah. Or making it sound like it's the worst thing ever. You know, like, especially with, you know, the whole marijuana issue. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to drag us onto this. No. Um, I'm a firm believer in the legalization. I just... Oh, so do when I. You, when, you, when, you, when you crunch the numbers and you look at the profit margins that the government could take off, uh, they was actually saying that with just an average, if you took all the money we confiscate and stuff like that, and you just took those people, like took a rough tally of all the people we confiscate from, right? if you were to legalize it and sell it at a set price, like think of our debts to China, yeah. you know, the trillions of dollars we owe, they said we could pay it back 
just off the legalization of marijuana in 27 years. Oh, hell, let's, let's yeah. take it a step further. The burden on the prison system. Right. Yeah. I mean, you got to look at it, especially, you know, because, uh, you know, as much as, as much as I, you know, I, I think it's, you look at the cost of somebody actually being sent to prison, detainment, things like that. On, 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 yeah, on average, <laughs> uh, an annual an annual cost of one prison mate is somewhere in the I think one hundred and sixty two thousand dollar region. Yeah, that's one on prison state. mate. At, yeah. Well, not even really. I mean, it, it, that's basic rough costs. Yeah, that's with just feeding and you know keeping the bills paid for the mm -hmm. place. You know, as a, as a cumulative one person, right? right. You're talking a hundred thousand plus dollars on one person. Just for, and then you just talk for a minor uh, offense with. You know, right. right, you know, I was like, I was selling marijuana and I got put in jail for a year. Yeah. Like, and to keep me there for a year, it cost $162,000. Do you think I ever made $162,000 selling pot? Fuck no, you're selling to college kids. Yeah, it's like, no, I'm not making a fucking killing. I mean, just because you got caught with an ounce with intent to distribute doesn't mean you're, you know, you're... That doesn't mean that's a rapist cartel, or a killer. Yeah. 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 Save, save, save <coughs> prisons for those kids, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, save prisons for those kind of people. You know, and then you, you look at all the you know all the rapists and shit being released and put into neighborhoods. I was like, do you really think that they're gonna be any different now? And I'm not saying some are. You know, don't and, but the opposite thing. Recidivism is high with rapists and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I, I'd say it's the opposite with uh, people who sell, sell pot because basically they're just doing it because it's you know fast cash. Mm -hmm. You know, get send those guys to business school, they can become like a fucking upstanding citizen in the first place. Right. You know? Yeah, and you know they basically open up a business selling pot, yeah. and then. You get to tax the shit out of them. Yeah. You tax the pot. You tax the business. You tax the person. Look how much revenue you bought. You brought in instead of spending one hundred sixty-two thousand dollars to keep him in prison for a year, you probably just made two hundred thousand plus dollars off of him. Yeah. You know, so that's in like, you know, going two hundred thousand profit instead of one hundred sixty-two thousand. So now you net gained three hundred sixty-two thousand dollars. And from a consumer standpoint, it is actually least less expensive to buy it if it was legal. Because they can tax it 100, percent and you know just the fact that it's legal and they don't have to fucking smuggle it in and keep it hidden and all this other shit, and yeah. you know also the incurred cost of the risk that they have from getting their ass shot by someone else. Right, exactly. Plus the police cost. Because you know the reason it costs so much now, you know, you buy it from dealers or whatever, is because there's a risk involved. Yeah, you know, so much fucking over it. Like, because it's like, oh, I had to grow it at my house, and that was risky, so I'm gonna increase the the price. You know, if I get caught, I'm going to prison, so I'm gonna increase the price. Right. And you're talking about a G costing twenty bucks right now. You legalize it, you can sell it for five, and it wouldn't make a shit of difference because you could have, you know, government restricted selling or you know growing zones. Just like they pay farmers mm -hmm. to grow produce, you can pay pot growers to grow their pot in large quantities, and then just buy it off of them. The yeah. government buys it, they distribute it as cigarettes, you know, type of thing. Boom, <coughs> money! Look how much money they're making off the cigarette industry. Oh, it's fucking God. stupid. Oh, yeah. and that's just actually killing somebody about that. Yeah, and that's killing people. When has marijuana ever been proven to kill people? And uh, well, it's uh, the fact that cigarettes are actually killing people. I see. Well, no, I was yeah, going right. to say this. This like, smoke still has a health. No, I, I don't plan. I, I plan on dying. Right. Like, you know, they, you know, one thing I've always said, <coughs> smoking kills one in three who start, well, fuck it, you know, life kills three in three. Being born so. kills one Yeah, one. pretty much, yeah. Right, yeah. So, being, so, born uh, kills being born one. kills one in one. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, how about we take a quick break, right. uh, and then we'll come back, and hopefully the goddamn computer will fuck up again, or else, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, you're watching Spike Wagon, only Spike Wagon. Done that. Done that! Drink just... Back like a bad case of the clap. It's Spike Wagon. Oh, it's Spike Wagon. Come on! Drink with your Yeah. Nom, 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 So, since we were talking about marijuana earlier, um, from my fucking stupid files, a Southland man is behind bars on Tuesday for uploading videos of an elaborate marijuana growing operation that ultimately led investigators to an even bigger money making scheme. <laughs> So it's just like, hey, I'm doing something really illegal, and uh, here's proof. I'll Everybody. show you all on YouTube. Yes. I'm a f ingenious. <laughs> it gets even better. Prosecutor said uh, Kenneth Lucas II used the pot in a, as a secondary stream of revenue to fund an international fishing scam that reportedly netted up to one million in cash. Good job. Yeah. GG, motherfucker. Yeah. GG. 
He's about to get caught. Uh, uh, wait, how did that happen? Oh, yeah. maybe we should have put it all on YouTube. <laughs> Amazing, uh, not all videos belong. Yeah. Operation the majority, Fish Fry. The majority of them don't belong. <laughs> what? The majority of those videos don't belong on YouTube. Oh, shit. Rebecca Black. Uh, oh. <laughs> I almost want to sing Friday just because you said that. You know, I actually... I'm joking. I'm not here's the funny thing. I actually heard a good version of that. The Screamo version? No. Chip Tune. Really? Yeah, it actually worked. I was very, very surprised. Maybe because like her voice is kind of in the background. Her voice wasn't there. That helped. <laughs> oh, yeah, but no, perfect. just musically, it was actually pretty good. I was, I was like, wow, this actually is not that bad. So. Especially in Friday. Yeah. yeah. I actually took Friday and turned it into dubstep. Actually, <laughs> sounded pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, I'll just throw that out there. Hey, just go play with Grizzly. Yeah, huh? it's Antonio does, dub, does dubstep. I love dubstep. <laughs> oh, wait, didn't you guys see it on Glee? It was amazing. No, uh, no, once, no, at a, once Glee. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was watching Glee for a while just because my friends were, and then, yeah. I'm like, sorry. Yeah. Uh, they, I think they did one thing good. I, don't even I, I will admit the, the version they, because uh, I listened to it, the version they did of uh, Don't Stop Believing. Uh, I did like it, okay? I was like, okay. Uh, basically, everything they were doing was during for a while, and once they around that, they tried to get another good idea, and I couldn't find it, so. Didn't they do some Def Leppard too at some point? Um, on that TV show? Yeah. I don't know. I'm starting to watch 18 now and Hulu. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Because he's perpetually stuck in the 80s. Um, By the way, a band you should check out if you've never checked it out, Rock Sugar. Okay. If you've never heard of them, they are. Uh, they do compilations. Uh, it's a bunch of old dudes, uh, and they like you know they'll mix uh, Ozzy with. Uh, Something, something newer. Like, if you look it up. You know. Oh, kind of like the day, uh, like da uh, Danger Mouse Day with the Gray album. Right. Really. A lot like that, except like a little better. <laughs> like the dude's voice is really good. Right. Like, so they're they're really good. Huh. Uh, so I check like them that. out. Like, it's good. It's good music. Real good music. I enjoy a lot of their stuff. Like, a, I think they have one that's like "Don't Stop the Sandman." Really. <laughs> it's like, "Don't Stop Believing" with Inner Sandman. Wow. It's really good. Or uh. Uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, shook me like a something, something. <laughs> I don't remember. Shook me like a hurricane. Well, no, no, that, that that would be the. It's shook me like a hurricane, and then. Uh, no, it rocks me like a hurricane. Rock. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because there's three songs in that one. Oh, oh shit. It shook me like a. a jungle baby or something. <laughs> it was fucking weak. It was really good though. By the way, don't shake your baby. <laughs> don't shake. Your your babies. I condone baby shaking. I'm an asshole. <laughs> one out of three recommends. <laughs> one out of three men recommends. And one out of three baby. just recommends not having kids. So, yeah, come on her face. Um, so, no, how about. Bad. Huh? We're back. We're back. That's you. Bad. So you don't see her face. <laughs> My friend Scott had a really good saying once it was a uh, pull out early or you'll be paying child support. <laughs> well, true to that one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's a so, how about we talk about uh, a little bit of awesome here? Okay. Uh, and I was actually very surprised when I read this. Do you know BitTorrent is now 10 years old? Wow. BitTorrent? Really? Yes. When Bram Cohen first released BitTorrent on a public message board on July 2nd, 2001, he never imagined it would quickly become one of the main generators of internet traffic. <laughs> Now, exactly a decade later, <laughs> yeah. BitTorrent is used by hundreds of millions of people this guy. Uh, worldwide I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> to celebrate BitTorrent's 10th anniversary. Bram Cohen joins. Eh, whatever. <coughs> no, I. Story got dull after that. Yeah. So, but no, I read that. I was, I was so surprised. It's like, holy fuck, ten years. I know. Yeah, it's so like one old. of those things that makes you feel old. It's just like, you know, nine, like. Was it Titanic is like 15 years old? It's yeah. Like one of those things. See, um, you know, I, I'm not to that point yet where things make me feel old because I know I'm not old. I'm right. still 21, so it's like, woo. Yeah, I'm, I'm 24, well, so I'm kind of good. Well, no, I look at this. 30 in three weeks. <laughs> oh, I turned 22. Uh, what's today? Uh, July 2nd. The 2nd? Yeah. Five days. All right. Next Thursday, I turn 22. I turn 25 in about a month. No, 20 days. 25. Get up, my mom. Um, <laughs> no. But no, here's the thing, you know, if you look at it in, in terms of tech numbers, you know, the fact that BitTorrent has stayed this strong for this long, 
That's amazing. I Honestly. remember, like, the, the main turn with them is that it was a legality issue, because you're only, you're only uploading, like, what is it, like, the, the pieces, cost, yeah, yeah you're, only, you're only playing pieces, you can't upload more than, like, four seconds of a song, but if you have, like, I don't know, something like, uh, 80 people uploading three seconds, then you get a full song. Right. Well, and it's so funny because, you know, as long as, long as I've been on the internet, you know, I've seen... You know, many different types of file sharing just come and go. You know, like Hotline. Yeah, I'm, that's a real. <laughs> I story. actually still have that program. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm hot, sorry. <laughs> uh, hotline, Napster, Scour, oh, actually, uh, LimeWire. Actually, Wire was going down too. Are they finally dead? Because uh, they don't have no more support for it. I wonder why. Yeah, because it's only on Mac. That's why one of our friends is actually programming his own uh, version of it, and you know who it is. How about he just like step into fucking twenty or two thousand seven at least? For yeah. fuck's sake. When Mac actually made computers. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I actually ruined a computer with OneWire because it's a disease-ridden podcast. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. A, and uh, like a like a frat girl. Na- Napster, LimeWire, uh, for all those who use Weatherbug. Delete that shit now while you oh, still okay. have a Well, actually, now. Weatherbug actually went legitimate. Um, no, it's still a disease ridden piece it? of shit. Yeah. Oh, I thought they went legit. Yeah. Well, no, no. I well, do, I do well, networking constantly, and I oh, more problems with that fucking program than any other. Well, actually. and the funny thing is, it's. It. You know, if we look at it this way, how wrong some camera. of them try to go. Oh, what? I hit the wrong camera. <laughs> What'd you do? I hit three, that's my camera. Oh. He's like, hello. <laughs> I'm just. So, but it's funny how some of them try to go legitimate. <coughs> well, Napster's been the only one that's been has done okay at it. Yeah. Um, but the rest of it, you know, like LimeWire tried. <laughs> Fuck, that was stupid. Um, but BitTorrent has actually, you know, picked up some legitimate uses. Like Blizzard uses it to deliver patches for WoW. Yep. Right. You know. So. Oh, at least the same concept. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's actually it's, BitTorrent. It's BitTorrent. Oh, it is. It's, yeah, it's Blizzard, actually BitTorrent. Blizzard does use BitTorrent. Yeah, they use their engine. I remember I was actually playing it, like, I played WoW on and off just because, you know, during the semester I can't really play. Same things. Yeah. And, um, I remember, like, while I was playing, uh, they started doing that. Yeah. And it was because, like, you know, they had one server, or they, they had so many servers and then they just had too many people, but then, uh, with the torrents, the opposite. The more people you have, the faster you're up. Yeah, exactly. It was a really good idea, and it, it actually works. Then, then they did another thing where they, you can actually upload the thing before it, it comes out, so that's another idea. Yay for BitTorrent. It allows me to get music that nobody listens to. And also you know it's paper. <laughs> well, it's more like probably I can't pay for it because it's no. fucking out of print. If I go to eBay, it's a hundred goddamn dollars. That's why you do indie music because then they just give it away for free because they're trying to pay Either that or I go to the shows and I buy it for six bucks or some shit. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. still paying too much. No, if it's a band I like, you know. Six dollars versus free. Um, no, no, no. Well, I, I look at it this way. If it's somebody I like, I'll give them money. Yeah. Back me up. Free. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. They gave me a Big Mac free, maybe. I don't know. Ugh. No. Yeah, I know. No, the cost incurred with health bills is not free. No. no. I'm just I'm just hungry. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I want a taco. Taco. Mexican food sounds really good right now. Taco Jones? Wait, we don't have those here. God Shit. damn it, we don't. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Six pack and a pound, motherfuckers. Anyway. They had a thing. Some of the, uh, one of the guys I used to work with at <coughs> John Deere. He had uh, his name's Josh, and there's a, uh, a Taco John's, you know, on the Port Road. Yeah. And only he would know this. I, yeah, I don't know anything about this. Well, that's what the location is. One of the, the shops, or whatever. We'll explain Taco John's in a moment. Yeah, but uh, anybody named Josh gets free t- tacos. Really? Yeah, I thought that was bullshit. Yeah. So if you name your kid Josh, then you can go up and be like, "My baby's name is Josh. You can have a salt free food." No, Taco John's was, it's a Midwestern taco chain, kind of like Taco Bell, except it's like a lot better. That's it doesn't give you the shits when you eat it. You know, cool story about uh, last night. Like, <laughs> they're going to say about the shits. Well, no, about Taco Bell. Uh, <laughs> not quite that end. Um, I was feeling really shitty yesterday. My strep was, uh, I was on the, the big decline of gross last night. And so I was like, huh, how to make myself puke. Taco Bell. It was a genius idea. I got two of those cheesy. Oh, I got two of those cheesy beef burritos. Packed more freaking calcium and bullshit cheese into my system than I can handle. 
peak that shit right up, I felt a lot better. <laughs> Saying, for you strap sufferers, <laughs> puke that shit. Yeah, so yeah. Run for the border. <laughs> uh, run for the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Afterwards, yes. So, no, uh, it wasn't even a run. It was just like a, yep, here they come. <laughs> <laughs> Stand over the toilet. <laughs> Oh, I feel so much better. Yeah, that's a party. Yeah. It was a party. <laughs> so uh, no, Taco John's was a midwestern chain that was a lot better. I used yes. to have this thing called six pack and a pound, which was six tacos and literally a pound. They used to give it to you in the large drink cup like those, and they were really like tater tots just covered in Lowry seasoning salt. That sounds delicious. But it was like six bucks. That sounds awesome. No, oh, it's like. Uh, it's like seven fifty or something. Like well, $9. see, but, no. but the thing we have here that nobody else has is Ken's tacos. True. Which, yeah. uh, which for all of you who didn't know, Ken is actually my uncle. Oh shit! Oh, that what? is that is my uncle. It's my dad's brother. Mm. Uh, so, uh, needless to say, free tacos. <laughs> we'll have to like do a, we'll have to do like a gypsy picnic and go check it out. Yeah, definitely. So we can start doing we start doing food reviews. That's something I've been considering. Actually. Or I could just cook. For all of those that you want to see uh, cooking on Spank Wagon, I'm your guy. Yep. I don't know. What about me? I don't know. Who's, who's the chef? <laughs> yeah. I never actually had any of your food, so I don't know yet. Well, I'll make you some chicken fried steak. Oh, when, oh you, shit. when you jizz in your pants. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I had the gravy, then I jizzed in my pants. Most. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm bagging my pants. That's now it's making me hungry. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> 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 the problem is he's like the vegetarian. He's like, mm. I can eat terrace is so I can eat like vegetarian yeah. food. I have a veggie uh, veggie fajita. It's really really good. Well, you know, I've actually made you know I've made veggie pizzas, and one time we had some friends over, and our friend Wayne he says, you know, normally I hate veggie pizza. This is awesome! So, yeah, you actually like You just gotta think about it a little bit. So. Yeah. It's just a matter of finding which vegetables blend with which seasoning yeah, exactly. and turns into a good recipe. Yeah. Like, surprisingly, squash and uh, zucchini makes a really good veggie fajita. I could see that. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of squash, but yeah. Oh, by the way, people, we actually smoked pot earlier. That's why we get hungry. That's why we talk about food all of a sudden. That is not, That's not true. entirely false. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, it's not true for me. I was there <coughs> earlier, so. So. Just this morning. I'm over right now. <laughs> so, by the way, any fans of Monty Python here? I'll be this guy. All right, oh, cool. Ready. So, would you believe they're working on a new film? Uh, I would not. How many of them are done? No, just one. Just uh, Graham, one Graham Chapman's the only one because he passed away of uh, cancer in, like, 89. Right. Um, but apparently he did a biography in, like, 1980. And they're actually, well, most of them are getting back together to do a film about that biography. Uh, Monty Python members have reunited to voice a 3D animated film based on the memoirs of the late Graham Chapman. A Liar's Autobiography will feature recordings that Chapman, who died in 89, age 48, wow, that was not old at all, no. made of his 1980 book. Uh, John Cleese, Ter Terry Gillum, Michael Palin, and Terry Jones have all signed on, while Eric Idle is not involved. And that's which sucks, because he's actually my favorite Python member. Oh, yeah. The film is due out in spring next year. Jones joked that he had no idea until recently that Chapman was dead and thought he was just being lazy. <laughs> However, I'm now delighted to find myself working with him again on this exciting project. Wow, that's dark sense of humor. I like it. Well, I like it. Yes. Well, I remember, I was actually reading about when, when he passed away, <coughs> and I forget what the Python member said something. Um, you know, they said something about him, you know, being the late Graham Chapman, but when they worked on the show, he was always late, so it just kind of fit the bill. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love humor like that. It's so wonderful. It sounds so Monty Python, actually. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that's, like, my thing. I love, like, just this weird, non-sequitur, obscure humor. Oh, yeah. Because... You know, it's influenced me as a child. It lives on yeah, now, so, yeah. you know. Oh, let's go back to tech, actually, here for a bit. Um, this is something we've discussed. Uh, the sale of MySpace. And everybody's What's like, what? 
Who's still using that? That's what I'm looking Who's going to buy it? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, he's like, I need a drink or something. Uh, no, I need his nose is running. Oh, I'll catch it! God. I was going to say the exact same thing. Thank, thank God you stole my joke, bad joke, man. Uh, you need a condom for his nose. Yeah. Condom? <laughs> I don't have any. Well, I do. I haven't even used the ground. Uh, <laughs> Damn it all. Uh, that date, huh? Yeah, check that expiration date. Huh? Yeah, check that expiration date. It actually lasts a surprisingly long time. <laughs> yeah, what well, happens to a condom when it when it uh, goes past? Well, they say that about Twinkies day. too, and that's not necessarily true. Also, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> now, what, what happens? Does it like become pockmarked with holes? I mean, what happens to it? It probably doesn't have the tensile strength it would. Oh, you got tensile strength. That's yeah. nice. Tensile strength. Yeah. yeah. I use 50 cent or it's, yeah, it's crank wagon. Um, See, that's how Jewish guys save money. Oh. <laughs> wow. wow. He went there. Uh, and this, I'm, I'm, now we need I'm to, jealous. Now we just need to make fun of uh, blacks and Asians. Now we'll be set. Um, oh, yeah, we'll be banned. Yeah. Off the internet. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. No, there's no way. That's actually a song I wish I had uh, about dancing to stereotypes. I love you more than the Japanese love tentacle porn. Uh, what the fuck? You know, I, I tend to believe that the Japanese don't like tentacle porn. I think that's more American like. No, I, I think it's them trolling us. You know? Oh yeah, it probably oh, yeah. is. You know, it's like thirty guys in a room thinking, let's make the most fucked up shit because Americans will buy it. And then we'll be like, sure and then we oh, it's okay. It. I'm not actually going to masturbate to this. It's yeah. Japanese. Hey, 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 Tao, you dumb shit. She's like, nom, 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 clip. This tripod tastes like tripod. Um, tastes like box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we've discussed this. Um, MySpace uh, News Corp was looking to unload because uh, <coughs> nobody goes there anymore. Uh, they bought it for $580 million. It's still worth that much? No! You will be sad when you hear this. I'm sad that anybody bought the goddamn yeah. thing. Yeah. So they were looking to get a hundred million out of it. Maybe. You want to know how much it's going for? And why is it text so goddamn big? Thirty-five million dollars. Really? Yes. For that much? Yes. No, that low. Yeah. Well, still, that's, I don't think. So it's just like we'll pay you hundred million for MySpace. You could just take it for like 35 minutes. It's all yours. Yeah. Well, <laughs> take this crap sheet. Well, and here's something I didn't actually know. The group that's buying it, Specific Media, you want to know who's one of the big people behind that group? What? Justin Timberlake. See, so, that almost makes sense because uh, for a while all MySpace was good for was like music. Music. Yeah. That's well, that's probably what it's designed why, for. That's probably yeah. why he did it because he's trying to, you know, for the music part. Well, so. you know, that's like actually one thing Facebook is not very good no, about. It isn't. No, uh, is like for band promotion. No. Like you, for, you, you can always like like a band. I have Farmville. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. I will actually. I've actually got a story about that here. Oh, bit, so. um, but no, it's not very band friendly. Like when I, I actually put up a page for some of my experimental stuff, and it was super easy. You just up, you know, you do it. You upload songs. That's it. Facebook doesn't really have some of those same functions. You have to link to something else. Yeah. 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 Basically or you it. install an app. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was bad because like one of the bands from last night, you actually had to like a song before you could listen to it. And I was like, fuck this. You, you can unlike it though. So you can yeah, I know, but I was like, that, so. God damn it! I just want to listen to the fucking song. Yeah. That's it. I want to see yeah. if you're any good. And there are a bunch of. 17 year old screaming <coughs> on the page. Um, and you liked them. I didn't, thankfully. Kitty on the fridge. Oh, they go okay. on top of the cabinet. On stuff. top of the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. What, wait, which one was it? Tau. Tau. Tau got up there? Oh, this yeah. is too much badass yeah. to go up there. Yeah. She's like a black <laughs> yeah, No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, she doesn't even jump on the counters. Jesus. So, uh, actually, Bad. since we were talking about. Uh, She's I could probably already start saying Weird Al. Uh, the, the sad part is I have a cat that looks just uh, like her, and she's, my cat's 20 pounds heavier. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've ever seen a cat walk upstairs. Her belly, like, hits every step on the way up. It's hit, really hit, cute. Uh, his granddad had a cat that was that. Yeah. Pretty much, he'd sit down and 
he, he, he can't find, yeah, he, he can't see the claws. Any of them. They just. How did the cat? It rolls over. It rolls over. Every time he sees the comb, it rolls over. And, you know, comb my belly. Comb my belly. Comb my belly. Comb me. Yeah. How did the cat get so fat? <laughs> Anybody knows that song? No. So since we were talking about Farmville, uh, the company behind it, Zynga, is filing for an IPO. They're looking to hopefully get one billion in cash from this offering. I do have to say, they have a lot of people playing that shit. So. Well, they do, but with that, <coughs> there was actually, uh, and this is not actually the first time I've seen this type of commentary about those style of games. Yeah. They're not, you know, they always say, oh, they're social games. No. Not really. No, but, like, I, I've known people that just make accounts just so they can, like, farm it, you know? Well, okay. Farm so, all right. So, there's a gentleman, uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, Richard Bartle, who created MUDs. MUDs? Multi-user dungeons. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. We had a friend that used to play that all the time. Yeah. So It's all text. Yeah, it's all text. It's like playing a game in IRC, almost. Yeah. All right. So, and like I said, this is not the first time I've seen this type of commentary. Uh, Jonathan Blow, the guy who made Raid, has mentioned some of the same things. You know, they're really not social games. You're just trying to bribe people to do shit for you. Yeah, I mean, every now and then I'll just get like, a random request from like, Restaurant City. Oh, somebody wants you to give them something. I was like, Steffi. <laughs> well, Steffi does it. Also, like uh, just some other, uh, some of Chris's other friends. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, I haven't, I haven't talked to you in like three years, and you're asking for something on Restaurant City. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's just like they're not games in the classical sense. You know, it's just, it's work. Yeah, no, no. It, like that's the thing. Like with most games, they like most good games, they have a grind, but you get something. With Restaurant City or, you know, any of those other ones. Permanent grind where you get nothing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you get something pretty, and then you're just not happy with it, you get something prettier. And they, they serve no function, you know? At least with, like, you know, role-playing games, you get a stronger weapon. Or yeah. you get to fight this boss now because you worked hard enough to get to that. With that, it's just, like, you you don't have a definite goal. You just want to get one thing that you think will make everything look better, and then you want something else after that. So, right. And... Another good point that was brought up was just really how dependent they are on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Because they're not, you know, they're not on, you know, iOS, or <coughs> Xbox Live, or PSN. <coughs> you know, it's... And the thing is, with Facebook, you already have friends just because you know something. Right. With that, like, people are going to play the game. They're not going to actually meet people like that. Well, and that was another good point. Like, you know, like, wow, let's take it. That is a great example. That's the story you always hear is... You know, people making friends and they, you know, eventually meet up and shit. Oh, yeah. You know, that's probably, like, maybe some of, the, like, one of the few good things about WoW. You if if you're it. social enough. Yeah. That being the, the obstacle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Steve was like, no. No. Fuck okay. all that. I am not about to go meet my serial killer best friend who plays WoW with me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Like, hey, bro, you want to come up to Michigan? I'll buy your ticket. No, because I have a feeling you're going to cut off my face and wear it. Like, not okay with this. <laughs> like the lotion in the basket? Um, Whoa, no, there, there are success good. stories with that. I mean, oh, um, I'm sure there is. I, I know one of Marcus's friends. It was just like somebody that he, you know, raided with, and all of a sudden, just like, oh, by the way, I live in Austin. Like, they were talking, like, yeah, I live in Austin. He's like, oh, I live in Austin too. And then they hang out, and that's like one of his solid friends now. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've made games, in, or we've made games, made friends in the fighting game community, you know? Yeah. And, so it's just like, you know, it's not always bad, but just the way, you know, Zynga, with their type of games, just yeah. doesn't really build. Yeah, it's kind of in the opposite direction. So. Yeah. So, uh, actually, let's take a quick break here, because uh, Air Mattress is like, I gotta pee. Um, so, we'll take another quick break, and uh, we'll be back. Spank wagon. Oh, dead. Steak. Ooh, I can make it. Oh, we're man. Back. Yeah, we're back. Spike wagon. Only Spike wagon. Talking about food. 
still, 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 we're still food. fucking hungry. Yeah. This is stupid. Yeah, I was actually a little bit too hungry and I was getting a little bit buzzed. And uh, I ate two loaves of bread and it actually helped. He didn't two, eat two loaves of two bread. Two pieces of bread. Two slices. Two okay, loaves. maybe I'm still drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to watch you eat two loaves of bread. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, that'd be pretty goddamn high yeah. to eat just one loaf of bread. <laughs> no, 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 to no. eat two. See, that's, that's probably why I never smoked. I never have a problem with, uh, with appetite, which is probably, like, which is why I wanted to do the uh, veggie hot dog eating contest, which I said it has. I cost. haven't heard anything from him yet. But yeah, no, I was, I was <coughs> really excited about that for a couple of months, and then we didn't hear anything, so. I could just make my own fucking veggie dog eating contest and just eat a bunch of veggie dogs at home, but in any case. Eat, eat them in loneliness. But no, no, uh, <laughs> forever alone. Um, no, no, the only thing is that, you know, if you eat a bunch of bread, it's kind of like eating crackers, like you Right. Yeah. In any case, why are we talking about this? Yes, we're all hungry, so we're talking about food. I'm only like only slightly. You know, okay. one of the best things I've ever done is you just take a random loaf of bread, and then in a bowl you put peanut butter, honey, syrup, and sugar. And you melt it in the microwave, and then you just dip bread in it. Fucking delicious. Uh, I don't know. I like the uh, toasted bread and olive oil with like salt and spices in it. Yeah. Oh man. One thing my family does. Uh, man, if you're looking for a Perfect lover. Yeah. <laughs> Not only am I awesome, but I can also cook. Yeah. And I know my beer, my whiskey, and a lot of other shit. So, uh, and my video games. So. He knows his video games. <laughs> kind of. Not so much anymore, but I know history. If you want to know why Tetris was such a clusterfuck back in the 80s, um, yeah, a lot of women. Why there was two, two copies of Tetris. Yeah. You'll notice the most updated system game we have is PlayStation 2. Oh, bullshit. Oh, no, 360. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. Look <laughs> behind you. Right. Oh, is there really a PS3 behind you? Yeah. Yeah, it's around. Yeah. Well, well fuck me sideways. <laughs> didn't see that one. Okay. Yeah, I feel kind of sexy. I don't have a Wii because Wii's for children. Um, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Me too. Or what was it? The Wii, Wii U. The Wii, Wii U. U. Yeah, they, they can only super use fun. pronouns. It's so fun. I, I had to test that out. You did? Yes, I did. Holy shit. It was really, really fun, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's supposed to have better graphics but, than... The but the thing I like about it is if you say it really fast, you sound like the chick off Kung Pao. A lot like that. Oh, God. I love that movie. <laughs> that movie you have to watch while you're on substance of, some substance of some kind. You can't watch it sober. Yeah, I've tried watching it sober once. Oh, like, I totally do. I watch it sober. Well, More than probably once. Because you watch it so many times while you're drunk or higher or something. Uh, probably. Yeah. So, while we're on the subject of foodstuffs, and this is actually one of uh, Brew's favorite. One of my favorite things in yes. the world. Vegetables? No. Dr. Pepper with sugar. Yes. With Imperial Cane sugar? Well, yes. no, this is actually... True Dublin Dr. Pepper? Well, Dublin they're talking about true and Dublin Dr. Pepper. Yes, and I have, I have a grandmother who lives right outside of Dublin. Every time I was in there, I was like, hey, how's it going? Okay, I'm going to leave. And I go to Dublin. <laughs> Good idea. Well, you there's know, actually, that... uh, there's a restaurant that does fountain Dublin Dr. Pepper and I very close to here. Pitaris. Oh, well, that's not the only one. Oh, what's the other There's one? There's a new one. It just opened up. It's on 183 in Anderson Mill. Mm -hmm. It's called In the Buns. Oh, uh, it sounds real dirty. Oh, it sounds dirty. Uh, the food is delicious. Um, they use very, very fresh ground beef. Uh, they have probably some of the best hickory smoked bacon I've ever had in my life. And they cook, Whoa! It, they cook it perfectly. We know where we're going tomorrow. He's <coughs> here um, some bacon. Oh, oh no. No. Yeah, yeah. But, and they have, they have the, uh, I forget what the, the, the company is. Uh, it's got that main root beer. Yeah, they're, uh, they're out of Boston, yeah. Right. The, and they're the, really good. Yeah, the, the one they sell at Kirby Lane. Well, they have all those on tap. Every really? flavor of that of, of that group. And they've got Dublin Dr. Pepper on tap. Sweet. Uh, they've got Cordon Bleu chicken sandwiches. Ooh. Oh, they've got, oh man, their food is just that, the bomb. they got a spicy queso that goes really good on their seasoned fries. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, uh, please. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm staying here tonight so we can go there tomorrow. <laughs> For real. No joke. But just get drunk here and then go and have hangover meal. Yeah, hangover buns. Yeah, thing. Yes. So, but anyway, and, well, the Dublin one isn't all, the only one that does the sugar one. There's, like, one in Waco that does it, too. Actually, the one Dublin doesn't even make it anymore. Uh, no, they do. They do. They do? Yeah. Well, yeah, there's stories about them. Oh, because I thought the Dublin one was just kind of like a museum and kind of, they show, like, all the... No, they still have a... Bob, have you been uh, to the Dr. Pepper Museum? In Dublin? Yeah. You ever take uh, the I took the tour. tour. Yeah. yeah. Did you get to do the make your own soda? No. Oh, well, I, I took a school trip to the uh, Dr. Pepper Museum, and they did a, they, we had to do a, a TV commercial and make our own soda. Really? Yeah. Well, it's because it's from school. 
Right, right, probably. But, but uh, I'll probably yeah. make your own soda thing. It's part of the regular. No, thing. probably not. No. But uh, yeah, I made this real like this like fruit soda. Yeah. It was really good. Probably tastes like Dutch Coke. No, it tasted a lot like uh, carbonated Hawaiian bunch. Oh. Except Sweet. much better. Right. <laughs> I actually put like passion fruit and orange. Right. And like uh, I think it was apple in it. It was okay. really good. And they didn't try and steal for me. I, dude, I would have been. I wouldn't have been surprised. His ours was delicious. Like the, yeah. the dudes like running the tour was like, man, this is actually really, really good. Because you just write down what you want them to make it. Right. Yeah. Then you get free bottles of it. Right. Because you know, they'll make a batch for you, and you, each person gets a six pack of, of their soda because they right. make a big batch. Because while you're filming your commercial with an empty bottle, they make all the sodas you put in there, and they send you home with them. Like mine didn't last the trip home because everybody, <laughs> everybody's like, I'll give you ten dollars for a bottle of your soda. <laughs> Damn. I was like, hell yeah, I'm making profit. <laughs> what this shit? <laughs> I could buy. I it, could buy it a was really game. Good. Uh, I wish they'd made it into a real soda because I would have bought that. I was like, never ending. Yeah. Steve, I think I would have bought it. Steve, 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 Steve. Oh, big O. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like capital S, small T. <coughs> big fucking O. Uh, big fucking O. So, but anyway, <laughs> apparently, Dr Pepper Snapple is suing Double and Dr Pepper. Um, all right, so um, uh, this is from the consumerist. Uh, Doc, Dr. Pepper sold a limited edition version of the beverage that used cane sugar, which we're used to around here. Yeah. Uh, they mentioned people in Texas have had this, you know, around for a while. Yeah. I remember when I moved here. It's like, well, yeah. Even though I don't drink, if I ever drink soda, it's either that or. <coughs> Yeah. Not to mention HEB just started doing with their HEB Cola. They have an Imperial Cane Sugar version. Yeah, I, I yeah, saw yeah, them yeah, going to start doing it's that. It's pretty good. cool. It's That's not probably what I just bought. It's, it's what? not good. Really? It's not they good. fucked it, it up? It tastes pretty bad. Really? Yeah, the Dr. Pepper flavors go with the cane sugar a lot better than right. the Coke does. Because it's, it's like pruned and shit. Right. Their Cola, is just, it's just gross. So, anyway. Uh, but parent company Dr. Pepper Snapple Group says the Dublin folks have been selling the brew outside the designated area using the name Dublin Dr. Pepper in violation of their agreement. Dr. Pepper Snapple filed a lawsuit in U.S. District Court on Tuesday asking the court to order the bottle uh, to, more stop corporate bullshit. Yeah. to stop using the Dublin Dr. Pepper uh, name and logo. In the, quote, in simplest terms, the bottler, 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 is using a logo that is no longer authorized and is taking business from fellow Dr. Pepper bot bottlers who play by the rules and sell within their defined territories. We owe it to our other bottlers to stop these unauthorized practices. Why? Because the product's better? Yeah. No Much shit. Much better. Not, not to say <coughs> that I don't like regular Dux Pepper. I still want the shit out of it. Double Dux Pepper, though, is just that one step above. It's, no, like, no, no, it's like three steps above, man. It's, it, it, it's just short of heaven. Really? Yeah, I'll say that. That's, that's just all there is to it. So, um... That's not just the beer talking. <laughs> no, that that's just honest to goodness truth. Yes. That's all there is. You cannot deny these facts. No. You want There's going to be no, unlike you know, global warming deniers. There's going to be no Dr Pepper deniers. No. Sorry, rules around Dr Pepper. Yeah. So double Dr Pepper. Yes. Oh God, let me. Actually, I think I want to stay with my fucking stupid. Um, that's my thought. Yes. Since we're talking about sugar. Steve was just staring at all of you. I'm looking at this Chester Cheetah Too Cool to Fool. Holy yes. I'm wondering yeah. what the fuck could that be? <laughs> Platformer. Really? Yeah. Yeah, anytime they make like or anytime they made back then, like um I don't know what's called like a franchise game, it was always platformer. So. I tell I tell you what though, one of my favorite one of my favorite games, you know, corporate based real ridiculousness to make kids. The yeah, Mc that was actually McDonald's. one that was actually really the good. The McDonald's video game for regular Nintendo, I enjoyed that shit out of that game. There, there was one for the Genesis that was actually pretty good, too. I didn't see that one. Yeah, I don't have it. Mick Kids was yeah. a lot of fun. I saw um, it somewhere. But no, another like good corporate platformer cool spot yep. with a spot from 7-Up. <coughs> yeah. Remember when they were doing that thing years ago with a spot with the sunglasses? And uh -huh. Yeah, it was like riding the semi truck or some shit like that. Yeah. It was actually a really, really good game. So, anyway, since we're talking about sugar and soda, uh, so maybe drop the diet soda and reach for some water. As and two grab the toothpaste. Yeah, that too. Uh, as two new studies presented in the American Diabetes Association, 
You're not doing yourself a favor with diet soft drinks. Nope. One study from the School of Medicine at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. The worst Oh, it's in San Antonio. UTSA. Yeah. Uh, showed data that drinking diet sodas is associated with increased weight circumference. The others say aspartame raises blood sugar in diabetes from mice. Quote data from this and other pers- Fat mice. Fat mice! That's another band name. Uh, and other pr- the prospective studies suggest that the perspective or promotion of diet sodas and artificial sweeteners as healthy alternatives may be well <coughs> advised. Yeah. Now, just kind of like on an anecdotal level, like my mom, she drinks tea all the time. Mm. And years ago, she used to use Sweet Low. Like, a lot! Right. And it's actually making her sick. Really? Yeah. She stopped using Sweet and Low. It stopped. Was it, was the um, saccharin or something about this? It's just something about you know Sweet and Low that was just making her ill. Yeah. Same with my grandma. My grandma's a diabetic. Right. And she had the same issue uh, with diet sodas and Sweet and Low. It was just making her. It made her blood sugar like ridiculously high. Right. Switch, switch to Splenda. Worked out. Did it? Because it's like kind of modified sugar, so. I, but to me, any of that sh- any of that stuff just tastes like shit. Yeah. I can taste it right away. It's like, <coughs> it's like, why is this? Oh God, why? And yeah. just, it's horrible. Yeah. I don't. You know, anybody who says like, oh, it tastes the same. Fuck you. You're wrong. Yeah. This is so, all there is to it. So very wrong. So so very wrong. Just anybody tries to hand me a diet soda, I want to punch him in the nuts. Diet sodas are gross. Yes. <sighs> Oh, God. Yeah, we got, the, uh, we got uh, caffeine free diet soda. What the fuck is the point? What, yeah, why don't you just yeah. grab a glass of water? Yeah. You know, and yeah, no, to, to that. Sugar, you know? or, or to that point, I remember one time my dad bought like caffeine free diet Mountain Dew and I drank one. I was like, damn, drink water. Seriously. Yeah. It's like fucking bullshit. Water probably tastes better. <laughs> yes, it does. It. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously, I, I have had like six glasses of water since I've been here. <laughs> Just like, ah. Water's good. Yeah, water's, good. <laughs> <laughs> water's delicious. So, uh, since this is like actually somewhat close to home of a sort, uh, everybody knows like the dollar coins, the gold ones. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, we're familiar with them because UFO used them for a while until they switched to tokens, which I'll get into that in a bit. You know, apparently there's like one billion dollars in these damn things unused in in government coffers. Really? Yes. Uh, it's cost taxpayers an unnecessary three hundred million dollars so far. It won't end until twenty sixteen. It's wildly unpopular with the American public, which is part I don't understand. What's wrong with you? No, I'm just stupid. Oh. Uh, e- even though it saves the government money in the long run, it's taking up comical amounts of space and secure. Federal government vaults. What is it? United States Mint series of dollar coins featuring the faces of all 44 presidents. Well, and here's one thing I didn't know. So, appar- you know, apparently banks have these to say in their vaults. And, you know, they're saying, like, nobody wants the goddamn things. So, uh, for those of you who know, our you know, second home is Arcade UFO. Right. Well, for the longest time, they were actually big on using these coins. Right. Because, you know, you didn't have, like, a lot of tokens and... <coughs> yeah, there were a lot of games that cost a dollar, and carrying a dollar coin was a lot easier than carrying... Four right, coins. yeah. And then you could still use it anywhere, right? Yeah. So, and then at one point, they just switched to tokens. And I'd actually talked to Fugor Duck. Well, he's tired. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> do, you, do you need food? No, it's just that uh, I, 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 I haven't been sleeping a lot, so oh. go on. Anyway, so, you know, and I talked to Fubar Duck about this, because I was, I was very surprised, because I liked the dollar coin idea. And he had mentioned that the last few times he tried to go and get specifically these dollar coins, they wanted, like, an enormous fee to get the damn thing. So like they make all these coins and then they put a fee on top of it so that it's harder to get rid of them? To order specifically though these coins. That's kind of bullshit. So that is why he switched to tokens. Yeah. 
And that's that's like, why that's why all those are sitting in vaults right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean like well if you wanna like be like stupid about people maybe wanting these coins, I mean, well fuck you, first off. Yeah. And secondly, I I'd really like to know what is this bit about Americans not liking these coins. Where, where did that... I want to know where that came from. Because that's not the first time I've heard it. Hey, it, it works with the euro. I mean, uh, I went over to Spain, and you know, they have like one, two, five dollar coins. Well, yeah, they have dollar coins in Canada, too. So, <coughs> so it's just... And, and it works with, you know? The, the only thing is, like, if you lose your change, or if you, like, give your change for a homeless person, it actually ends up being, like, you know, 20 bucks. Yeah. So. You think it's just, like, half a quarter, it's like, mother... I just gave that motherfucker 50 dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and buy some scotch now. That was what I was going to do. God damn it. <laughs> Except I can't trade on the street because I'm not homeless. Well, you could, but yeah. then you probably get arrested. Well, you can also do that in Europe, so. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yay, Europe. But yeah, it's like, what? Well, seriously. Yeah, we actually might wrap this up on time. Damn. Yep. Almost out of news. Oh, we can bullshit. We can bullshit. Can Is anybody in the off. chat? No, no one's in the chat. God. So, I don't know if that was Murphy earlier that did that or not, but yeah, it was, I don't know, they're not there anymore, so. Well, probably when the machine fucked up, they just. Yeah. yeah. So, are you sure? Because the last time we did the show, we at least had three people in the show. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, one more from the fucking stupid files since we were talking about pot earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's a pot. And we don't smoke. We don't smoke, no. Um, he smokes a little bit. I don't know well. <laughs> I don't need this being linked back to me somehow being interested for smoking pot. <laughs> well, you're not doing it on the stream, so... Uh, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. That's we, right. We could just be posturing, just saying, like, oh, we have a token guy that smokes pot, just to make ourselves more... Not only is he our, uh, what's our guy? He's our resident stoner. Um, I'm a resident of lots of things. <laughs> uh, marijuana that was used to be evidence in a Long <coughs> Island drug case that dis has disappeared from a truck that's transporting it to a Pennsylvania crime lab. Uh, Mark, <laughs> Gann, Mark Gann, head of a committee examining problems in the Nassau County Police Crime Lab, said it appears someone had tampered with a potentially, or tampered, man, they actually dropped words, had tampered with and potentially stolen some of the evidence that was placed in FedEx custody. <laughs> really? What made you think that putting it with a FedEx truck was a good idea? You know that the only reason they can stand that job is because they smoke pot. Yeah. <laughs> which, which is funny because you, since you mentioned that, uh, quote, it just calls into question the propriety of dealing with a common carrier like FedEx for purposes of delivering evidence. Perhaps a better course of action would be to use an employee of the police department or the county. I think the only <coughs> word we have here is, duh. <coughs> Sir, what the fuck would you send drugs FedEx? <laughs> Maybe they thought the shit was legal and they could do that. What does this mean? I know the last time I tried to send drugs FedEx, they wouldn't take it. Yeah, I know. I mean, you can't... <laughs> and he lost it because the guys, whoever smelled it and saw it there, took it for their own. <laughs> well, my... Here's my question. Who? At what point was it stolen? Was it stolen in package sorting or is it in delivery? Probably packed the sorting because they don't pay that much. No, there. they don't. But if you're a truck driver, goddamn, they, you can afford it. <laughs> yeah, you can buy your own shit. So, yeah, so uh, those guys make a lot of money. Right. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. God, do do we run over and just bullshit about whatever? Or because well, we, we five, started late, we, we got five more minutes left, so it's eleven o'clock. So yeah, I've like I'm out of news. Yeah, news already. Yeah, you need to find fucking more news. <laughs> Well, one I had, it's actually kind of lengthy. And, oh, yeah. Because it was talking about how to, if there's a formula for a hit song, like, scientifically. Well, I heard the Moby had that kind of idea. He had a formula they used for songs, and everybody loved them, so. Well, actually, hold on, fuck it. Um, I'll go to the story. I'll just go to the conclusion. Yeah. Uh, or close to it. So. And then all the evidence. Yeah. At some point, I'll actually post a link, because I, I was reading through it, and it's actually really, really awesome, some of that. So... The only thing is that since Moby used the formula, which is kind of why he's almost like a one-hit wonder, they all sound the same. Yeah. 
<laughs> what I'll the fuck? Beat your face in. <laughs> Told you she was no good. She's well. Her name is Tal Kaka, so uh, she'll go slashy slashy. Slashy slashy. Yeah. Yeah. Like Raptor Jesus on me. Like, so uh, two guys want uh, really want to know if there <coughs> you know, truly was a formula for a hit single on the pop charts. So they actually took the charts, uh, Billboard Top 10 chart, well actually Top 100, from 1960 to 2010, hmm. and actually ran it through a number of formulas. And actually, let me pop over to that because it uh, did on a number of factors. Sorry, I thought I was prepared for this article, apparently not. But yeah, go figure, right? It's just typical. <laughs> so anyway, they did a number, a number of factors, tempo, key, loudness. Uh, they actually measured energy and danceability, as they put it. Okay. So, and it was actually, uh, they really kind of summed it up in two lines, which maybe is a great commentary on pop music as a whole. Uh, so they say, so to all you recording artists and record, record labels out there, there are a few general tips you can <coughs> follow to better your chances of having a top 10 song on the Billboard Hot 100. First, keep your tempo at a medium pace, around 120 beats per minute. Write in a major key. Make your song danceable in around four and a half minutes in length. And as they put it, quote, turn it up to 11. And I read that and I'm like, that makes total and complete sense to me. When you, listen, yeah. like when you listen to what's on the radio now, or at least, ma well, mainstream radio, yeah. uh, that totally makes perfect sense. You know, just because ma major keys just, I don't know, this is something that draws people to them. You know, if you're not a musician or at least listen to music as much maybe as we do, right. 120 beats per minute, you know, definitely has that danceability to it, so. As a drive and being in a major key is more soothing. Yeah. Whereas minor keys tend to uh, be offset with off tempo and not right. be, you know, be uh, a good song to check out that doesn't fit any of those would be uh, you can check out Mumford and Son. Mm -hmm. They okay. do uh, Little Lion Man and The Cave. Right. Two, two off tempo minor keys, uh, and they, they start on like start on upbeats a lot of the times. So right. Like, well, they'll come in with a you know with a chorus. They'll start an upbeat, and it's real awkward. You know, it's pleasurable to hear, right? But you know, you wouldn't dance to it, right? It's, it's difficult to sing along because you're like, oh, he's off, you know, right? But it's still good music. But would it ever make a top 100? No, no, yeah. No. I mean, it was on the radio for like a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's how I can check that song out. But that's a great song. Yeah, it's good. I uh, I sing it here. Wow. So anyway, so I think we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up here. Which, yeah, sorry for all the fuck-ups. Yeah. Again. Again, God. Yeah. It's because I'm here. <laughs> yeah. The strep is infecting the computer. Yeah. So. Computer kind of ours. So, anyway, uh, <coughs> next week we'll have a show, because um, you'll be out Friday, and we're doing the IGDA picnic next week. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully it's not hot as fuck out. Probably will be. Well, we'll be in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But there's water slides. I love water slides. So you just like stop filming for like 20 minutes, just be like, okay, water slides, cool ourselves off, get back to work. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Um, but yeah, come check it out. They actually still have tickets for sale, I believe. You can come out. You don't actually have to be a member. Just come out, eat food, barbecue from Salt Lake, drinks from Opal Divine, video games, awesome music. And food, just more food. That's food. how we go. Yeah. Which is what we're about to do. We're about to consume. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. we're going to figure this shit out. Be like, no, no, no. I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit up Conan's fucking pizza. Oh, uh, is there one here in town? No, it's there's awesome. one next to my apartment. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. Damn it, so jealous. Uh, so anyway, yeah, no show next week. Um, but hey, keep an eye on the website because uh, there's going to be shit coming out. Uh, episode from the Vegas group, which was a really good one. Right. Uh, hopefully Murphy will get some stuff up. Chief is actually moving to Seattle, so uh, hopefully yeah. they'll give him more. <coughs> reason to do some shit <coughs> on camera. So, uh, so thanks to Sebo for showing up. You will see more of me. Yeah, sure. uh, we're, we're we're seriously thinking about moving this to Saturday. So. Yeah. So it might be better for people to join us on the Saturday. So. Right. So anyway, so for Brew, 
I'm Rubber Liquor Store, Air Mattress behind the producer desk. You can watch the spec wagon. Play the spec wagon. Do it! Drink. Oh, fuck. I'm empty. Yeah, me too. Whoops. Fuck. <laughs>